Hey yo, Antonio. If your vision is 2020, then you are considered to have normal vision. But how good is that normal vision? In this video, I'll help you understand what it means to have 2020 vision, how this term is calculated, and why 2020 vision is almost exclusively an American term. What is 2020 vision? 2020 vision is a measure of your eye's resolution. In the case of a camera, this would be your megapixel count, and on YouTube, it would be 360p versus 4K. If you have good resolution, then you can see things better. That's pretty self-explanatory. The higher the pixel count, the more detail you can resolve. But because the eyeball is shaped like a sphere rather than a screen, counting how many individual pixels there are, which is what you do on a flat surface, is not going to work for the eye. So what must we do? We must measure the visual angle. How small of an angle can our eyes resolve? On a vision chart, big letters take up a large chunk of your visual angle, whereas small letters take up a small amount. Reading small print is often difficult because it means that you're having to use less of your retina to do the work, and hence less photoreceptors. If in the case where the light is not focused properly on the retina, the photoreceptors are not able to register a proper image, and therefore increasing the size is necessary, and therefore also increasing the visual angle. At a distance of 20 feet, if you are able to read down to the letter size 20 on a vision chart that takes up 1 12th of a degree in your visual field, then congratulations, you have 20-20 vision. The first number indicates the testing distance, so you'll find most optometry practices are either 20 feet or 10 feet with the help of a mirror, and the second number indicates the distance at which the smallest line of letters read on a vision chart subtends 5 minutes of arc. What does that mean exactly? To put it in trigonometry terms, in a right angle triangle, the letter size is your height. The angle is constant at 1 12th of a degree, and the distance between you and the chart is given by the length. For you to have 20-20 vision, you must stand 20 feet from a vision chart and be able to read letters that are about 8.7 millimeters in height. This is because 1 12th of a degree projected out to 20 feet should give a height of 8.7 millimeters. If, on the other hand, you could only read letter sizes that were double that size, to satisfy the 1 12th of a degree rule, the length would have to be at 40 feet instead. But because you could only do that at 20 feet, you would have 20-40 vision. To avoid a lot of confusion, it's usually easier to think of the first number as the testing distance, and the second number as being your letter size. The smaller the number, the better your resolution. This way of thinking is much easier to understand, and although it isn't the technical definition of a Snellen fraction, it works in 99% of cases. So at 20 feet, if someone is able to read the letter size 20 without any mistakes, they have 20-20 vision. And if someone reads letter size 45, then they have 20-45 vision. If you wanted to test this for yourself at home, you could draw or print some random letters and measure them up to be about 8.7 millimeters squared. Place those letters 20 feet away and try to read them with one eye at a time. You'll find that it isn't an easy task. 2040 vision is the legal driving standard, which is achievable when you can read letter size 40 at 20 feet, and 2200 vision is when you are considered to have legal blindness. I get a lot of people asking me how good their vision is after an eye test, and they'll ask things like, is it 19 over 20 vision or 18 over 20 vision? But now we know that this is not how visual acuities work. The first number 20 almost never changes because it's been standardized, and the second number is dependent on the size of the letter you can read. 
So the smaller the number, the better your vision. It's completely possible to achieve 2010 vision, which is considered to be the human limit of visual acuity, although many people, even with glasses, have a hard time doing so. And before I forget, if you are enjoying the content so far, then I have many more videos to come. So I would encourage you to press like on the video and consider subscribing so that you get the most value out of my channel. Outside the US, 2020 vision is almost exclusively an American term. If you think I'm joking, I'm not. Where I practice in Australia and many other parts of the world like Canada, the UK, India and New Zealand, 2020 vision is not a term that's used officially. Instead, it goes by the term 6-6. It follows the exact same principle as 2020 with all the triangles and everything, but all of the calculations are done in meters rather than feet. The legal blindness and driving vision standards are also very similar. And because they work as ratios rather than points, converting them from one to the other is very simple. An added layer of complexity is introduced when you consider countries like Algeria, Bulgaria, Belgium, China, Denmark, Korea and Japan, as the visual acuity is displayed as a decimal rather than a fraction. 2.0 indicating perfect vision and 1.0 indicating normal vision. Luckily, converting them from fractions to decimals is also very easy. You just literally press the equal sign. In my opinion though, there are pros and cons for displaying visual acuities like this. In a Snell infraction, you have information about the testing distance and the size of the letters you were able to read. And to an optometrist, this is valuable information. However, to the average person on the street, having 615 vision would not mean much at all. In a decimal system, however, it is much more intuitive and easier to understand. For example, if I have 0.5 vision, compared to someone with 1.0 vision, I would know that this person can see letters that are about half the size of what I can see. However, this becomes very confusing when we're talking about your optical prescription at the same time. For example, a person with 0.5 vision would have to have about negative 1.0 diopters of nearsightedness correction for achieving 1.0 vision. You can see why things can get confusing. As an optometrist myself, I deal with Snell infractions all the time and that is what I'm comfortable with. But if you find that decimals are easier to understand and easier to apply in your day-to-day -day life, then there is really no difference. 2020 vision is the same thing as 66 vision or 1.0 vision. But going back to the question of how good is 2020 vision? The answer is, it's pretty darn good. A person with that level of visual acuity should be able to read letters that are as small as 8.7 millimeters at a distance of 6 meters. 2020 vision is again equivalent to 66 vision and 1.0 vision. And depending on where you are around the world, you may get results that are written differently but now you know that they're the same thing. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of what 2020 vision actually means. Feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions, and if you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then they'll be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.